I'm with B-Souls, bro. This multiverse thing, the multiverse concept is killing it for, like, other franchises just trying to mooch off of it. I don't know. Um, B-Souls sent something in the group chat where they were like, Barbie was trying to integrate, what was it, Barbie, Hot Wheels, Uno. Thomas the I'm Train. Like, I'm like, Uno? <laughs> what the f- uh, uh, like, let me find it. Keep going now. I'll find it. B- Barbie and Ken are playing Uno with Thomas the Train. Like, get the f- out of here. I'm not trying to. <laughs> like, this um, Transformers and G.I. Joe in the same universe. That caught me so off guard. I'm so, like, so bro, Mattel, Mattel execs uh, reveal they want to essentially create a cinematic universe following the success of Barbie. Now, we'll talk about Barbie in a second because Barbie was. Uh, it is the most successful movie of the year that that's beating out um Mario? Yeah, Mario. That beats out Mario. Barbie did like Barbie put up 600. Numbers. Yeah, they they put some they they put some nutso shit up. They said um, it's the biggest release that's not a sequel and not a comic book. A comic movie book movie ever. ever. Yeah. Yeah. It type in type in Barbie right now and Google's going to turn pink. But it was 500 mil. 500 mil first weekend. Um, but so what they're trying to do is Barney, Polly Pocket, Hot Wheels. This is where it gets insane, like really, really crazy. Magic Eight Ball, Uno, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, Christmas Balloon. Never heard of it. Not have y'all? Do y'all know what that is? Do y'all what know what is Christmas? that? Right? I, don't I don't know, know what the <laughs> fuck Christmas Balloon is. Nigga made a new character. <laughs> or how it's about to be involved in the fucking Barbie verse, nigga. Snug, I'm taking snug. a balloony from Phineas on Fur when I seen that, man. Nigga, nigga, was, a, nigga was an elf turned ornament. This is crazy. Um, <laughs> what's, what else? Uh, uh, Thomas and Friends, American Girl, Viewmaster, Matchbox, which is also Cars, Wishbone, I don't, Major Matt Manson. I don't know, or Mason, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what that is. And then Masters of the Universe. Which I, oh, I think that's He Man and them. So I don't, you know. Oh, that's not He Man and them. I don't know. The only one that might go hard is a Twitter clip of Uno, and that's that's the rules section. When they when they establish the true rules, of Uno, that's the only shit I see going hard. Everything else, nah, niggas is niggas off a of lame coat. Oh yeah, it is He Man. It's He Man. Okay, Masters of the Universe. We might we might be Magic A Ball would. Be, someone said in the chat, Magic A Ball would be a fire horror movie. No cap, probably would. A horror so movie? Magic, I can see. Magic Eight Ball as a horror I see, movie. I can see. Where that. like, if you ask it a question and shake it for an answer, it just gives you some fucked up, diluted answer that like changes. Oh yeah, it fucks you over every time. Yeah, I can get behind that. Uno like as a horror movie, movie, you're an idiot. Really scary type shit. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know how they're gonna implement all that into a universe. But the fact that now with the multiverse business booming, you got people like, okay, I got successful Barbie. Fuck it, throw He Man in there too with Barbie, and they're gonna fight using Matchbox cars. Like, all right, now we're doing too much. Shit is getting shit is getting fucking ridiculous because y'all want to make a multiverse out of nothing, bro. Just leave Barbie alone. And now because Barbie did so well, you know what's coming next. You know what's about to be next, nigga. Bratz is about to get to My mm. Little Pony, <laughs> the real life movie. Oh, they're about to go crazy with all the children. So all the children toys so about to have a live action movie now. Jaden Smith is about to be. For whatever reason, live action Static Shock. I don't know why that's gonna happen. They're just gonna do it. They're just gonna do, especially with the writer strike. They're about to give niggas un unbelievable privileges to do these movies now. I mean, about to Negro to nobody. The just, nigga from just, fucking White Man Can't Jump that Omar was out, like is a seamless actor. He's out. about to be the next big thing for Matchbox. Hear me out though. I just read this, and this is some bullshit article. Could not be real. Mattel's Barney film. Starring Daniel Kaluuya, Kaluuya to be adult focused, a rated R Barney movie, A twenty four type what? effort. Of you, A twenty four, A twenty four. I want to remind people: uh, that if that shit match? is anything more than PG thirteen, all right, bro. What A twenty four Barney? Do you know how sick and diluted that movie has to be? Yeah, Barney that's what I'm is saying. fucking something. Barney. Barney is fucking. Yeah, I'm, I'm implying it. Barney, Barney is fucking, fucking something. Nigga A24. said A24 is lit for a Barney movie, nigga. What? That's the studio that made everything everywhere all at once, right? Yeah, I believe movie? so. But they, I, I know they do like like oh, thrillers, okay, and and you know think pieces and stuff like that. 
Um, I don't, I don't know, Wait, man. Dog, what did you, what did you think? I thought A twenty. I thought it was the like the NC seventeen shit. You know the like the the max. <laughs> oh like, god. Oh my. Like, <laughs> rated no, R head ass. No, no. First of all, it's something beyond rated R. It's like NC fucking right. something. Yeah. NC but that that's what you thought it was. Yes, that's what I thought. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like, is a A twenty four Barney movie? What Barney's <laughs> dick is out? But I was thinking extreme. That's Maybe crazy. CGI Barney. <laughs> so A twenty four did uncut gems. Okay. So they're in that type of style. Um, they just did a Steph Curry thing, which is also kind of crazy. I don't know. Um, I they they do kind of. I don't. I don't. I don't even. It's not kids. I'll say that. It's not kids. So it, uh, the day Pixar confirms the Pixar theory, and we gonna have a Pixar multiverse, bro. How, how would y'all feel once they announce that? that? It's lit. coming though. That'll it's coming. Lit. I ain't gonna lie. That I'm gonna be, be a lit. smack hypocrite because I'm gonna tell you now. <laughs> oh shit, Andy's coming with like <laughs> motherfucking Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we gonna be saying. Sully oh, closes oh. the closet. Sully closes the closet up and shit. Yeah, yeah. That nigga, that nigga, that kind of go hard. Ain't gonna lie. Stitch acting like a pillow. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> that might be gay. <laughs> that shit will be tough. Yeah. But I might approve of that one. That might be the only one I approve. Yeah, that, might, of, that, that might be the exception of the rule. No cap. That might be the exception. But but cardiac cardiac even said something interesting or sent something interesting in the group chat. It was saying that, like, the, the movie executives, I think it was Paramount, was just like, yo, we're just not going to do animated movies anymore. It's literally too hard. And I've had this conversation, too, in Talking Point. Like, it was just too hard to convince people to go watch an original animated movie, um, you know, because they just don't know who the what the IP is, why they should care about it, et cetera, et cetera. And this is why I will always say, it's never it's not the it's not the executives it's not the studios it's whatever um it will forever be the audience i just don't here it is paramount ceo ryan robbins says they are moving away from releasing original animated uh, movies in theaters instead we'll focus on ips um we're not going to release an expensive original animated movie and just pray people will come it makes sense though it'd be like a youtuber getting a one out of ten every single video for like a decade so like let's just keep on pushing until them shits become a six out of ten when they used to be one out of tens and you try to experiment when you try to experiment that shit becomes a 10 and now you're panicking oh what the fuck i wasted all these the uh the, these resources you know all the time i put into that video it's the same shit i feel like with uh these big blo uh, blockbuster movies they're not gonna put 200 million dollars into some experimental film they might put 15 and you know Hopefully it pulls it off on some low risk, high reward type shit. But the blockbuster shit, they're gonna make sure they do their market research. Yo, is this gonna break even? Is it gonna make us profit X, Y, and Z? So 